Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle. Today, we're going to mix it up a little bit and do something a little bit different. Instead of having the piles in front of us, I'm going to have you choose an item, and then your timestamps will be down in the description box, as well as in the first comment below for my mobile users. Today's question is going to be all about if it's really true, or is it too good to be true, I should say, for whatever question it is you're wondering about as to why you clicked on this reading. Your choices are the Super 7 um, Melody Stone, Quan Yin, and I have a Black Obsidian Arrowhead for pile number three. Feel free to go ahead and pause the video at any time to take your time to pick which pile it is you would like. And I will jump right in in a second. I know this is very different from the usual, but I figured I'd just mix it up a little bit instead of having the piles there. I just wanted to try something different a little bit kind of felt really drawn to doing that and I think this would be a little bit fun if you guys like it let me know down below if you like having it like this or if you like it the other way with the cards instead with the items alrighty so without further ado we're gonna jump right in with pile number one with the super seven melody stone alrighty so for my loves who chose the super seven melody stone let's find out the overview of your situation with these cards, these will be for some extra depth to it, and these will be for some extra guidance to help you out with this. So let's find out if it's too good to be true, and if it's really real, for whatever it is that you're going through with your situation. So the first card we have the Nine of Water. The Nine of Water. <laughs> Winter. Because I'm seeing a lot of water, so it's definitely very emotional for whatever's going on with you. So with the Nine of Winter, it's all about basically the nine of swords in this deck which is sleepless nights and lots of like stress and turbulent emotion so this card actually reads for the sea lion card it says your worries fears or excuse me your worries and fears aren't real they're fueled by focusing on the negative which gives power to that which you are to that which you're afraid of stop worrying let go of fear and everything will be okay so <clears throat> whatever you're stressed about, it's asking you not to worry so much and kind of to just release it a little bit, even though everything still doesn't, you know, seem to be clear or unfolded yet for you to know what's going on exactly. And then we have the seven of winter, which is the seven of swords. So with this card, it makes me feel like someone's been being a like you feel like someone's been being sneaky with you or keeping things from you and kind of like hiding things as well from you because we have the magpie it says caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables including non-material resources such as time or space of mind or excuse me space of mind peace of mind <laughs> Be aware of the results of your actions, as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So they're just asking you to pay attention to all the little details with this card and to just basically stay aware of everything that's going on around you. But to also, with this card, it says emotions are at their peak. So it's kind of also asking you to keep your emotions in check with this is what I get. And then we have forces beyond your control. Um, intervene so with this I feel like spirit has your back and they're looking out for you and that everything is going the way it should but to also stay aware and present about your situation so that that way you can keep your eyes open and peeled for anything that may come up that might send send up some red flags so let's get some in uh, more in depth to this so we have coming apart with this card I feel like there's two sides to every coin or situation, but you need to look at both sides because I feel like with this blindfold on her, that she's not open to seeing what's actually all going on around her and her eyes are shut as well. So there needs to be some, <clears throat> a little bit more openness with this situation because there's, like I said, there's two sides to every coin and to see things from both both perspectives and both sides as well because I feel like if you don't that things will just fall apart especially down the middle because that's where I'm attract attracted to like that's where it'll start to fall apart first is in the middle and then it'll spread outward from there 
and things will just crumble with, with whatever this situation is that you're asking about. We have the Oracle of Delphi. So listen to your intuition with this. Listen to what it's telling you. Listen to what it's guiding you. And don't be afraid to ask questions. We have the Akashic Library. Learn everything that you possibly can about this situation to see everything from all different angles. Alrighty. And then we have winged messengers. So again, pay attention to your intuition. If you're getting messages from your guides, pay attention to those because I feel that you are and that they're trying to help you and lead you in the right direction so that you can come to peaceful terms with this and figure out what exactly is going on and so that you can have time to relax and take time with this. And then we have the architect. So having open conversations and meaningful discussions about whatever the situation is, is what's most needed. Alrighty. Especially if it's um, determining what direction it is that you're going to be going in with if it's another person or even like a job type of situation. You need to be able to be open to talk about things and ask questions if needed. So let's get some extra guidance. We have presence. With this, I feel like it's more about staying present and in the now and being aware of things. The card reads, bring your mind into present, in, excuse me, into present moment time. Now is the only place to be. So being aware, staying present and staying in the now moment. We have valor. So with this, I feel like having a lot of respect for yourself is most needed. And also being a little bit on guard, but not so, so much that it's actually blocking you from actually um, hearing and listening to your intuition and getting the messages from your guides. All right. So we have be courageous. The unmistakable to um, touch of grace will follow us wherever we go. So with this, they're asking you to also have um, courage and strength within yourself as well and have a little bit more confidence as well as in this um, with this situation and know that you are okay and you are protected. We have anticipation. Don't over anticipate and don't under anticipate by staying in the now and staying present. You'll be able to stay on top of things and to be able to handle them as soon as they come up. Expect the best the world is working in your favor. So by staying on top of things, you'll definitely be able to minimize or maximize whatever your outcome actually needs to be and where you want it to go and how you want it to go is what I get with this. We have seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. So with this, I feel like they're asking you to stay open and also to continue to uh, listen to your intuition because it's steering you in the right direction and it's helping you, you to have all of your wishes come true because I'm looking at all these falling stars and for me falling stars mean wishing because you wish upon a star is what I hear with this. Alrighty. But to be open to receiving everything that's coming in for you as well. And then we have competition, some courage and self-confidence. I hear with this one, you're your own um, competition, be in competition with yourself and not with somebody else because there's no reason to be in competition with someone else and there's no reason to really try and outshine them because you are unique and you are the best individual for the task or the relationship at, at this time and to know that you stand out by just being you. And if that person or situation isn't meant for you, then they will fall away as they are supposed to. And what's supposed to come in for you and is meant for you will come in for you. These are your messages. I do hope that some of this resonated with you. Take whatever it does and leave the rest that doesn't. Have a good one and I will see you next video. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose Kuan Yin, let's find out if it's too good we... Too, yeah, too good to be true, or if the situation is really real. So these cards will be the overview of your situation, some extra depth and some guidance, and these will be some overall guidance for the entire thing to help you. So we have justice, 
with the elephant card. It reads, fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed um, impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. So with this, I feel like whatever this situation is that's going on, I feel like it will have its um, right and just outcome, especially if someone is trying to do some shady stuff, which is what I feel from this. There will be an equal balance and you will know what's actually happening in due time and that they will get their just um just what they deserve or whatever with trying to have things unbalanced and unfair and trying to deceive you so i feel like whatever this situation is i don't feel like it's the whole truth so we have princess of autumn which is the page of coin page of um pentacles in this deck it says cheerful reliable intelligent and mischievous i feel more drawn to the mischievous word it says a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education such as a promotion or scholarship is coming your way seize the chance to learn something exciting or start um a more rewarding and uplifting career so with this i feel like Watch your back if someone's trying to go for the same job position as you are because I feel like they're trying to swoop in and steal it out from underneath you behind your back while you're not paying attention and that they've had some underhanded um, little sly tricks that they've been trying to pull. And if it's a relationship, be mindful of your relationship. Don't get too jealous. Don't jump the gun. But just watch and notice everything. Collect all the evidence and then show up with your receipts. Those of you who know what that term means, you'll you'll get it. <laughs> if not, it's basically when we say show up with your receipts, the evidence. Plain as day, like this is what it is here. I have this and this and this is proof. We have a close friend acts on your behalf. So with this, I feel like if you're able to talk to your friends, have them help you with backing you up and helping you provide your proof and also to give you some um support as well with any um like kind of a shoulder to lean on then we have the unicorn good fortune and friendship <clears throat> so with this i feel like luck is on your side and that justice and fairness will definitely be on your side and that everything will work out in your favor as well so let's get some extra depth to this we have peaks of joy. So with this, I feel like take a chance, take a risk and jump in because I help help. <laughs> I feel like this will help give you a absolutely amazing transformation and kind of like set you free from any burdens or things that you've been worrying about as well. And then we have 33, the master number. So there's definitely some extra help um, from your guides and angels around you at this time, giving you um, divine support with taking this risk and taking this leap of faith. <clears throat> so we have three of roses loving elements so with this i feel like there's definitely some celebration to be had eventually and emotionally that will make you very happy in the near like in the near future is what i'm getting with this and i know it seems kind of funny but that's just what popped into my head for what i'm, I'm getting with this card and i feel like it's going to definitely bring you some emotional joy and happiness once this comes in for you and starts to um, begin to work out and flow. Then we have the journey. Sorry about the car going by. <laughs> if you heard that, sorry about the noise. We have the journey, seven of roses. So with this, I feel it's more about going with the flow and taking your time with things and um, having teamwork as well with your friends because I'm really drawn to these people working together right here on the dock in the picture so lots of teamwork and taking your time and working things out with whatever's going on is what's most needed and then we have the ark of the covenant i feel like some heart-to-heart -heart conversations are as well needed with this and some good advice from your friends or from someone that you um really look kind of like look up to and really trust and then we have faded meaning or meeting excuse me with this i feel like 
whatever's coming in for you is going to be divinely timed because I'm always attracted to the clock in this. And then I feel like you're going to come together with whatever this situation is or person is at the right time and then at the right place is what I get loud and clear with this card. So let's see some extra guidance. So we have listen. With this, I feel like it's more of listening to your intuition as well as your friend's um, sound advice because I feel like they are giving you some sound divine advice that um, you are meant to hear, especially like um, when it's most needed. When we feel overly attached to an outcome, it's simply an indication that we need to reconnect with our wise self. So listening to your intuition is going to be most needed at this time, especially the divine guidance that might be coming through your friends or someone that you respect and look up to when you go to talk to them. Listen to their advice, take it into consideration, and also listen to your intuition at the same time so that you know which direction to head with. We have self. With this, I feel like keeping yourself a little bit might be most needed and also taking um, time to take some extra care of yourself as well with getting some much needed rest because I feel like she kind of like just jumped out of bed with the sheet. <laughs> so it says go within. When we invest more energy in developing our spiritual lives to out, uh, um, excuse me, the outer world begins to take care of itself. So take some time to yourself, go within, think about a lot of things, feel out the way you want to go with certain things and take your time, like I said, gather all the inf necessary information and then come at it full force whenever you feel the need to and when you're ready. We have patience. Definitely taking your time with this and going with the flow. Trust in divine timing. Your future holds something far greater than your past. So I feel like Listen to your intuition, follow your gut feelings and your emotions, and it will tell you the right time to act and to press forward with whatever the situation is. But in the meantime, take your time, be patient, gather all the facts, gather all the information, make sure everything is in place and in order, and then, like I said, come at it full force. We have go with the flow. Let things happen. Just like I said, listen to your intuition. And then when you feel ready, then go forward with it and go with the flow. So this is basically a confirmation card for everything that I'm saying. <laughs> and I haven't even looked at these cards yet. I didn't know exactly what was in each pile I just pulled. But anyways, I feel like riding waves of emotion are going to be a little bit turbulent. So try and make sure that you are in complete control of everything and try to hold back just a little bit. And then when you're ready, just full steam ahead. All right. But just make sure you hang on to everything that you need to with your emotions and don't be too over, over the top with it. We have dove take a leap of faith. So by listening to your intuition, having patience and taking your time and gathering all the necessary information that you need to move forward, I feel like it'll help you have a peaceful and um, very forceful force to be reckoned with transition into moving forward and actually lighting a fire underneath someone's butt to get them to move forward and to do what you need them to do to help you with this situation as well. But definitely... In the meantime, take some time, take some patience, gather all that information, and then hit it with everything you got. Alrighty, these are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed them, and I will see you next reading. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the Black Obsidian Arrowhead, let's see if it's too good to be true or if it's really real and what guidance we can get for you. So these will be the overview of your situation, some extra depth and insight to it, and these will be some extra guidance for overall for you. So we have the dagger with conflict and danger lying wait. 
I feel it's more of a most needed decision, but it's also a double-edged sword, kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't type of situation. But you've got to put your foot down somewhere and take the risk, is what I get with this card. And there's definitely a choice that needs to be made, is what I'm getting. So we have the king, authority and diplomacy. So taking charge of whatever this situation is and making clear and concise decisions is what's most needed with this. And then we have yet another king, King of Autumn, which in this deck is the King of Pentacles. So the card reads compassionate, or excuse me, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, and grounded. So taking a more level-headed, grounded approach to things with this decision is most needed to help you move forward with it and to actually fully understand it and see it for what it is and not what it isn't and to have a firm grasp on it. It says Gypsy Vanner Horse. Everything's going in turn everything's going to turn out great. Projects will be stunningly successful. Exciting new career opportunities are possible and money or resources that come your way will be invested wisely. So with this, I feel like having that grounded more level-headed approach to the to the decision will help you have more abundance to also come in as well. Even though it may feel like too good to be true, it's working out for you. It is what it is, and you need to be able to see it for what it is and to accept it and to be open to receiving as well in order to receive any abundance that comes out of this, whether it's physically or emotionally. Alrighty. So we have the magician. So you have everything that you need right in front of you in order to see things for the way they are. You just need to take a more logical approach to it. And it's unicorn for this card it says there is magic in the air you can manifest everything you need to be successful so know that you you've got everything you need to have this accomplished and to see it through and to see it forward but you have to make that firm and grounded um decision with this in order for everything to come in and do what it needs to do and for it to remain the way it needs to be for whatever the situation is whether it's in regards to love or a job. I kind of feel like it's more of a monetary um, situation for whoever this is. And then let's get some extra insight. We have into the unknown. So I know that things aren't all there yet, but once you're able to make your choices and to be able to move forward, everything will be able to be unraveled and you'll be able to see clearly what it is that you need to see and to be able to move forward without being blinded and walking into the unknown. I know this feels a little bit different for you and it's also a new situation, but also taking this risk and moving forward with it is going to help you out quite a bit because you have everything you need. You just need to trust and have faith in yourself. Kind of like a blind faith situation is what I hear with this. We have add some. So with this, I feel like listening to your intuition, even though you don't know all the facts yet, is what's most needed. So let your intuition and your angels guide you in the right direction because I, I feel like you are being divinely guided with this situation as well. And then we have the Queen of Roses. With the Queen of Roses, I feel it's taking more time to appreciate the finer things in life and to be able to relax and enjoy everything that you have right now and to feel abundant as it is. And then more abundance will be able to come in and be attracted um, attracted in, kind of like like attracts like situation with this. Then we have Eight of Roses, uh, which is community, and then Sangha. <clears throat> Sangha. I'm not, I'm not even saying, I know I'm not saying it right. I can't be. <laughs> There's no way I'm saying that right. But either way, cards community. So I feel like once you're able to step into your, um, to uh, step into this situation with confidence and to attract more abundance, I feel like you'll have the like minded individuals around you that'll help you to keep this going and have more of it come in for you and help you feel more at home with this situation as well and to have a better understanding of things so that you can feel more comfortable with it is what I get from this card. So for the extra guidance, let's see what we got. We have affection. So 
like I was saying before with the um, Queen of Roses, to appreciate the finer things in life. Take time to appreciate everything that you have as, as it is and to focus on what you have and not what you don't have. Alrighty. It says, love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation fashioned by the, <clears throat> fashioned by the hands of the divine artist. So with this, I feel like you definitely have everything you need. You just need to take some time to show it a little bit of appreciation, appreciation and a little bit of love. And then everything will start to come in quite a bit more. We have love. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. But I feel like things are just beginning to flow in for you. And I also feel like if you've had your heart guarded and encased in like what feels like a shell to me, I feel like it's beginning to... Since everything is beginning to flow, I feel like it's starting to cause some cracks in this shell and to help you to be able to release and open it up and be able to shine more and actually let that love in instead of keeping it at bay. Share your heart. To love another is the ultimate expression of grace. So I feel like once you're able to Take this time to appreciate everything that you have. I feel like it'll also open up to more love coming in and flowing as well with both ways between you and your partner or this new person coming in for you. Alrighty. But you also have to be able to just take that shell down and be able to open up. We have silence. Be still. A daily practice of silence bears gifts and bears gifts a heightened sensitivity to beauty, deep inner peace, and a profound feeling of connected connectedness to all living things. So taking the time now to sit back, relax, enjoy, and take into account of everything and to show appreciation for everything is what's most needed and to know that you have everything that you possibly could need right now to help you with this ben to benefit from this situation. I can't speak this morning. <laughs> we have originality blaze your own trail with this I feel it's more like of an enjoyment and celebration and seeing things for the way that they actually are and appreciating them more with all of their beauty and being able to just sit back and rejoice in it and know that everything is alright and moving in divine timing and going with the flow So we have creative wonderment, follow your own passion or follow your passion. So with this, I feel like going more with the flow will help to elevate you more and also be able to see the beauty more in everything that's going on around you and to be able to enjoy it more. And I really feel like sitting back and just taking your time to take it all in is what's most needed. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated. Please remember to take what does. And if it doesn't, just leave it on the floor. And I will see you next video. Have a great one. Alrighty, so I know I forgot to mention it in the beginning when I was starting. But I am going to pull some extra um love guidance cards from the um, notes from the universe on love and connection. I'm like, I couldn't remember the name of the deck for the life of me. <laughs> but anyways, these will be some extra ending messages of love to help give you some extra guidance as well. And a little bit of love from us to you, from the universe and myself to you. So let's see what we get for some extra love messages. Ooh, that one was going to come out. I just wanted to see if it would fall out on its own. Okay, that works. <laughs> so I will read these for everybody. If they once loved you, they still do. Thanks for every single time you ever fell in love. Whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it 
lasted, and whether or not you were loved back. It changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. You're, um, you change her, <laughs> the universe. I kind of like the quirky ways that they end these. But know that you are loved in all aspects of the sense. Alrighty? Whether it's, even if it's just myself and the universe loving you, know that you're loved. Because I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much for sticking with me and hanging around with this. For these messages. Sometimes the good is hidden. Find the good in what they said or asked. It's always here. Or excuse me, always there. And here. Either way. However you want to see it. Even if they didn't mean it, uh, mean for it to be there. Shockerly yours, the universe. P.S. Clues for what you want are hidden all around you. So pay attention to those signs. For those of you who I told to pay attention to their messages. <laughs> I'm just being a little cheeky. That you have options is meaningful. Rock on. If I could make just two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. I'd also wish that you could somehow know of your unimaginable importance just as you are now. Just as you now are, excuse me. To the lives of so very many. And of course, I'd wish for even more wishes. Oh shoot. You're such a good you were such a good idea, the universe. So I am so thankful for you guys and I am so thankful for your presence in my life. And I do hope that everything works out for you in divine timing and that you get everything that it is that you absolutely wish for and desire in life with that card. And then we have forgive. Of course anger can always be justified. But then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from the from the adventure. Go for gobs, the universe. So not only are we asked to forgive others, but we are asked to also forgive ourselves at this time for any mistakes or any like kind of like mis like over accusa over accusations or jumping the gun. Or misinterpreting or understanding things. Don't be so harsh on yourself. It was a mistake. You learn from it. You can move on from it. So forgive yourself as much as you forgive the others as well. These are your messages. Know that I love you. And I will see you guys next reading. Have a blessed one.